Here's a question. How many humans have ever lived? What's the total number of people who've ever been born? The answer is about 100 billion, and right now there are 7 billion people alive on Earth. That means 7% of the people who've ever lived are alive today. But wait, how in the world do we know how many people there are in the world? That's where demography comes in, the statistical study of human populations. And be warned, this stuff gets complicated pretty quickly. Here's the basic idea. If you know the population in one year, and you understand how it changes, you can estimate what it will be in subsequent years. Let's suppose we want to know a country's current population, but we only have data from five years ago. To estimate the population now, we take the old population, calculate the births and add them, calculate the deaths and subtract them, add all the immigrants, and then subtract all the emigrants. If we have these numbers and they're reliable, our estimate should be good. In 1958, when the UN projected today's population, they were out by less than 5%. Pretty impressive. How many other 50-year projections are that good? That's demography at work. We try to get data on population counts, births, deaths, and migration every few years from censuses and other national sources. In reality, all these sources have errors and missing data. This is a real problem in Africa right now, where only a few countries have complete official records on births and deaths. This is where statisticians and institutions like the World Bank and UN come in. They help countries improve their data and make it usable for others. To explore further, you can download 50 years of country-by-country -country population data from the World Development Indicators online. Oh, and how do we know how many people have ever lived on Earth? We just run the process backwards.